Hello, in this video, I'm gonna go over some of the basics of Autodesk Recap. I'll go over the 3D navigation tools, some of the basic user interface features and layout, and finally, I'll go over setting up a coordinate system. Okay, so the basics of the UI. On the left side, you'll find the main menus. The bottom left corner is undo and redo, as well as a display that shows you the 3D coordinate of each point you mouse over. On the bottom middle, you're gonna find the contextual menu, and this menu will bring up different tools depending on what feature in Recap you are currently using. And top right corner, you're gonna see the view cube. You can actually move around the scene with the view cube or click on specific views such as top, front, right, left, etc. And on the bottom right, you're gonna see the project navigator. In the Project Navigator, we have view states, where you can save different views of your scene with different settings. And second is scan regions, which are analogous to layers. And third is scan locations, where you can toggle on and off the different individual scans. First off, let's go over some of the main menus. The top menu, the home menu, has all of your save functions, importing and exporting. Um, you can also view your registration results from here. And there's some general settings and help, and you can exit from here. The next menu is the display menu. So in the display menu, one of the cool things you can do is change the color of the points. So for instance, you can look at elevation coloring, um, intensity, uh, normals, and you can also look at scan location, which colors each scan based on its scanner position. So let's go back to RGB. Um, you can also change the lighting. So there's a couple different setups to put lights in the scene. So I'm going to leave that on none. Um, you can switch between a Lambert and a Fong shader model. Fong is a bit more reflective. I'll leave that on Lambert for now. You can, also, you can also use this feature of edge highlighting, which will highlight the edges of the points. And the next one is points. You can change the size of the points, so you could make the points really thick or really thin. I prefer really thin, so I'm going to leave that on one. And you can also set your coordinate system from here. And then you're going to see the toggle UI elements menu where you can turn different features on and off. And so for instance, I'm gonna turn off the grid here until we set up the coordinate system. Okay, and then we have a, a couple other menus. We have the limit box, which we're gonna go over in another video. And we have navigation and feedback. Feedback, you can actually send a, an email directly to Autodesk with any issues or feature requests. So let's start by going over 3D navigation. In Recap, there's three ways you can navigate around your scene in 3D. One is by using the navigation menu. Here, you just pick the feature you want, for instance, pan, and then left mouse button to pan around the scene. And the second method is using the mouse. And the third method is using hotkeys. Hotkeys are useful if you don't have a mouse. For instance, if you're scanning and you have a laptop with only a trackpad. The slowest method is to use the navigation menu. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that off by going to display settings, under tools, turn off navigation, and you'll see that menu actually disappears. So let's go over the basics. First is panning. Uh, middle mouse button will pan the scene. The alternative hotkey is to hold space and left mouse button. Next is zooming. Zooming can be done with the middle mouse wheel, or you can hold Z and left mouse button. I actually prefer this for zooming because it's a bit faster than the wheel. And one thing you'll notice when zooming is the point you click is the point you will zoom into. So if I click on this object, I zoom in and out from that initial pick point while I'm dragging with left mouse. 
And that brings us to orbit, which is right mouse button. And again, it focuses on the point I pick and you orbit around that point. So if I wanted to look at this object, I just right click on that machine and I will orbit around that point. The hotkey for orbit is X. So X and left mouse button will do the same thing. And the final function, which is a unique feature in recap is called the fly function. And to use the fly function, just hold shift and right mouse button and you'll begin flying through the scene. And the middle mouse wheel can control your speed so you can slow down or speed up while you're flying with the wheel. One thing you'll notice is the spheres that are in our scene. These are called mirror balls and they represent the scanner location. And as I mouse over, I can see the scannerama view from each one of these. And if I actually double click one, it'll zoom me into that position and load up the scannerama view. So here I am locked in a nodal position and I can still see the other mirror balls or scan locations and I can double click those and fly between them. At the bottom, you'll see this button that says 3D and that returns us to our 3D view. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually turn off these mirror balls. So again, I can do that in the display menu and you'll see here, you can also change the size of them so you can make them really big or really small. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn them off for right now. Earlier, I had turned off the grid. I'm gonna turn that back on and you can see our scene is not really lined up with our coordinate system. So one of the first things I'm going to want to do is line up this coordinate system so the grid is lined up with our space. So to do that, let's zoom in. I'm going to pick an origin at somewhere at the corner here as my zero point. So let's go to display points and update origin. And you'll see the context menu is asking us to pick the location of the origin. So I'm gonna left mouse button in this corner and you'll see the yellow dot represents where I picked and I wanna update the origin to that. Now, if I hit tab, it will let me also change the orientation. You can see the existing orientation I have the Z seems pretty lined up to our space, but the X and Y are not. So the first axis it wants me to set is the Z or up axis. So what I want to do is pick a point on a surface that is perpendicular to the Z axis. So the floor, for instance. So I'll pick a point over here on the floor and click enter to accept it. And now it is asking me for the direction of the x-axis. So I want to pick a surface to, that is perpendicular to my x-axis. And in this case, I'll pick the wall. So you can see, once I pick that, that my axes are lined up to my room now. So to accept that, just go ahead and press Enter. And now you'll see the grid on the bottom is lined up to our room. Now that my scans are lined up to the coordinate system, I can use the view cube in the upper right corner to view standard orthogonal views. First, I want to go to display, eyeball, and turn off perspective. That puts me into orthographic mode. Now I can just click the different views from the view cube. And that wraps it up for the basics of navigating and recap and the basic features of the UI. Thanks for watching.